and welcome to Furrier's World, where we are back in Project Ozone 3. And we've got a little bit of stuff to do. We have a new chest down here. We have a new chest that contains some wooden stone and bits and bobs and bits, but all our tinker stuff. We need to uh, get some better tools, uh, and we're going to use this machine here to make us some better, better tools. Tools that have better in us about them. Because uh, this isn't doing anything at the moment, so it makes sense that it makes some better tools. We've got some gold. Let's get some gold up in this thing. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to go for 16. That would give us 8 casts. We'll go with 16. 16 seems like a reasonable number. And we need to set up a, a kind of tinker, tinkering station. So let's grab all these things. Uh, we want... Let's see what we got here. Stencil table, part builder, pattern chest. Pattern chest sits kind of like that. That's not the pattern chest. We muff, muff that one straight from the get-go. There's the pattern chest. Uh, we've got a crafting table, which can go there. Uh, then we've got the tool station, which we're going to replace, so we'll put that there for now. Then we've got the part builder, which I think goes there. And the pattern... Stencil table goes there, and that then gets, uh, ooh. Pattern chest doesn't drop its things when you, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We've already got some of the patterns we need. Uh, we can make another pattern chest, I believe, because we're going to need another pattern chest. We are actually going to need another pattern chest. Two of them, I think, will do the job. So if we make a chest, boop, You've seen me do this already. You've seen me do this probably a hundred times. Simple, straightforward, doop, there you go, pattern chest. And that can go and live maybe there. It's a nice little spot for it. Then we can take that off there and pop that in there. Like that. And that's a pattern chest in the pattern. That's a pattern in the pattern chest, in fact. Not a pattern chest in the pattern. That would make no sense at all. We need to bling this bad boy up. Uh, and that is done with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them like that. Boop. And then we need some iron. And we need to turn that iron into... Hello, I don't need you anymore. Thanks, all the same. Get back in your box. You're in the wrong box. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You can go in that box instead. Boop. There we go. Uh, what was I doing here? I was making iron blocks, wasn't I? I need four of them. One, two, three. I'll take seven. Sure, why not? One, two, three. There we go. That's better. Uh... The iron has gone straight back into its chest, so that's fine. And then, I believe we break this thing. And we stick it in this machine. And we go one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. It's like a foxtrot, only crap. And then that goes in the corner there. Like so. So we can easily access all of these machines. We click on one, and we get the whole array of tabs at the top, so we can jump between them like that. Pretty damn special. Excellent. So what we need is the part builder and some cobblestone. Where damn I put all the cobblestone? Hmm. We've got smooth stone, we don't have cobblestone. Let's go get some cobblestone. I think I threw it all away. I think it was reckless and endangering everything by throwing away cobblestone. I'm only kidding, we've got tons of cobblestone. We're not endangering anything by throwing away cobblestone. See, chest full of cobblestone. Because, because... Just just because, I guess. Because is the answer to that. Chest full of cobblestone? Because. Right, so we go to the part builder, and we go here, have some of that. Here, here's, have some of that. There we go, that's better. And we want, um... We've got, we actually haven't got the pattern we want here. We haven't got the pattern that we want. I want those two. Um, we want to put them in there, and we want the excavator head. We've got the tough tool rod, tough pad. Yeah, I think we've got everything we need now. We were missing the excavator head. So we will make a excavator head. Pachonk. We will make a hammer head. Pachonk. We will make a heavy plate. Pachonk. Ooh, let's switch to that thing and go hammer. Heavy plate and a tough tool rod. Excavator. Where is excavator? There. Uh, tough binding, tough rod. Okay. So that's that's pretty much everything we need there then. So we want then the tool rod and the binding. 
Excellent. Uh, should we make a pickaxe while we're at it? Sure, why not? Pickaxe head and pickaxe stick. I don't think we need the binding for the pickaxe, do we? The pickaxe is fairly straightforward one. Oh, we do need a binding. Okay. And we need binding for the shovel too. Yeah. And the axe? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, pop builder. There we go. So we'll have the binding. No binding? No binding. Okay, we won't. We won't. We'll, we'll make the shovel head because we can. How many of these have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. We need one more, actually. We do need the the little binder, little binder there, and then we can part build the little binder. Did we not do that? I just wanted little binder. Where's the little binder gone? I messed that up somehow. Little binder goes in there. There we go. Let's try that one more time. Little binder. There we go. Now we got all the bits we need. Fantastic. When we pop these on here, so we go heavy plate. That's turned off, so we can just pour that. Can we not, can we not just pour that? Where's, where's my gold gone? I did put gold in there, didn't I? Pretty, pretty damn sure I just put some gold in there. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we want 18. In there. Maybe we didn't put gold in there. Maybe maybe we mess that up. Maybe we put the gold in our crafting slot instead. That feels like what we did. That feels like the kind of dumbassery that we'd do. Do we want to get rid of this now? I think we want to turn it off for starters. For the get-go. For for the for the for the new, we just want it that gone. We also want this lot gone as well. While that gold's having a think about things, we need to think about getting rid of that lot. Right, that can go. Then we'll get a Solid plate cast. Heavy plate, that can go in there. Then we get the next object, which is the tough binding. Pour that. There's, there's a material called aluminium brass, which is better for this. Um, it's no, no different, it's just... You don't always want to be wasting gold on this, but we've got a lot of gold and we haven't got any aluminium brass, so this is the way forward for me. This is, this is, this is how it's going to be. Uh, hammerhead. It's fun to get the hammer. I like, I like, I mean, it's in a world like this, it doesn't really matter. We're not striving to make great inroads into the world. So a hammer, kind of not really a relevant tool, but I want to get rid of some of this dirt. That's why I want the excavator, which has just poured its head there, you see. And then we want the pickaxe head. We're just going to have a whole, whole raft of exciting tools after this, aren't we? I'm I'm really really ex excited about it. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, world class, if you will. Uh, four ingots left in there. That's two more casts, and we need two more items. We 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 did that. The maths. We did that maths. Maths is what we did there. Should be should be should be proud of yourself, Furry is world. Uh, you can go in there. Then, because we've got a crap ton of iron, we're going to use a crap ton of iron for the next bit. Bloop, bloop. Uh, and you can have all of that back. There we go. So we're just going to make solid iron tools. I mean, these things are going to weigh a ton and be really, really but cumbersome, but they're going to do the job. And it will help with the iron mountain that we have amassed. We could maybe deplete some of it. I didn't pour that. I should have poured that. I was there staring at it, thinking, that needs pouring, why aren't I doing anything about it? But hey oh, it's done now. It's done now, so we'll pour, what do we need, two of them? We need two of these. For the shovel, and for the... For the shovel, and the axe. Yeah. Two of them. Nice. Then we want... I think three of these. These ones take a lot of iron. There's a lot of iron goes into these. We're probably going to need to wait for this thing to melt a lot of iron before we can actually crack on. We'll let that one pour while we, we just go and grab the crescent hammer and dismantle things over here. Nope, 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 nope. 
nope, nope. We can't, we can't de-hopper that? Okay, well we can de-hopper it with that. There we go, perfect. That's shifted a lot of crap out of the way. So, on the end of this, we want a new fangle wangle dangle, which we are going to call the furnace. We will call it the furnace. Yeah, we've got a bit of iron in there now. So we did we could, we'll pull one of those plates? We did. We need three of those, I think. Because we're going for hammer and excavator, aren't we? So we need three of those bad boys. Let's dump this machinery in here. So we've got a spare pulverizer, which we will use up at the top. We will use it up there for doing for doing what we're doing with the dust with the gravel. Um, that's how we roll up there. But we do have the perennial issue up there with the that the, the vacuum hoppers causing a little bit of conflict. A bit, a bit of rubbing together of things that shouldn't be rubbed together. Now, how much is a furnace? Uh, F U R N A C E. Redstone furnace is what we're looking for here. Where are you? There you are. Bricks. We need some bricks. I don't know if we've got any bricks. We should have clay. So, you know, step in the right direction. It's all up here, though unfortunately. It's all, unfortunately, way up here. Uh, nope. And, uh, nope. And, uh, let me guess. Oh yeah, we got, we got enough. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. That's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. To be fair, you can't get much fairer than that. That is exactly what we needed. Good. We're down. We're down, we're down, we're down, we're down, we're down, we're down. No real new names on the, uh, just looking at the board there, no real new names on the on the board. There's a, there's a few people that are just, like, constantly commenting. Uh, I don't know, don't quite know what they're, they're trying to achieve with it, but they're, they're constantly commenting and changing their profiles and things so that they look different. But, but, but I'm not fooled. Not me, not I. No, 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 not me. Wily Cat, that's me. So we want one of these, which makes one of them... Machine frame. <laughs> Requireth the tin and the glass. Tin gear. Boop. We can make that. We can make a lot of them, actually. Uh, machine frame. Boop. Oh, I do love linked inventories. Gears. I mean, copper gears. Linked inventories are pretty, pretty, pretty bloody good, aren't they? There we go. So we got that. That can go on the end of this. Ooh, we got a ding for that. We, we, we've done a few dings that we haven't actually done anything with. So that should now be powering it up, and it is. We will turn that to nothing. We'll have an input on the top, input on... Uh, output that side. That's what we want, and we'll just dump that straight into that chest. Uh, we need to, some input into that. Uh, how are we doing on the metal plates? We've got three heavy metal plates, good. You can have that back. We will have a tough binding and two tough tool rods, I believe. Uh, boop. Yeah, I think we just want the one tough binding. And two tough tool rods. Two rods that are tough and tools. Boop. Boop. Excellent. It's going well there. So we've got... Let's see what we've got in our inventory. Two of them, three of them, one of them one of them, and we'll pour a second one, excellent. So that needs item ducts, which are in this one. Item ducts. What we want to do is break this temporarily. And that means we're going to need to take that out as well. And then we have item duct, item duct, Item duct, item duct, item duct, item duct. And then we have the cobblestone generator atop that. Like, eh, can't do it because I'm in the way, I think. We need to dig higher, basically. Like that. Then it goes on top there like that. Then we can go down. Then we have the servo again. Which should shit, should shit in there, like that, thusly, turn on, bop. So that will now fill that, and that should fill that. And that should get cobblestone in it. Should. 
at some point. Yeah, there we go. Get cobblestone in it now. And then we can just empty that into that chest at some point. There's no great urgency on that one. We can we can we can do that. That all those item ducks that were here that looked so many were just that many, basically. That's just that's just weird. To me, in my mind, that's weird. Right, we've got our two rod things. We need a hammerhead, we need an excavator head, and we need light bindings. That and a shovel head. I think that will be everything then. Hammerhead, pour. This thing takes forever to pour. Item ducts. Do, 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 do. We got one. We need two. <sighs> well, that's a number. Uh, conduits. Are they conduits or ducts? They are ducts, aren't they? Ducts. Vacuum impulse. We just want an item duct. Item duct opaque. That will do. Six of them. Bosh. We could make a lot of them. We could do a lot of damage there. We won't, but we could. I'm just saying, we could. Boop. Boop. There we go. That should start filling up with smooth stone. There we go. 16 smooth stone. Perfect. That's what we wanted to see. Alright, so shovel head pattern. Hammerhead can go away. Pull that. Oh, we're getting all the bits and bobs here. This might be a slightly over long episode with all this metal work that we're doing. But we are getting all the bits and bobs. I think we've got enough now to make the hammer. I'd like to get the hammer and the excavator made. Uh, Paul? Yeah, we've only got one more part to make after this. Oh, we need a couple of these, don't we? I think that should be it. That should be it. Let's go put these metals away that we seem to have stashed in our inventory. Tidy this up a little bit. Those two filters can go away. We don't need them anymore. We're just waiting on that excavator head there. It's a big old lump of iron and it takes a long time for that to cool down. 90% cool. There we go. Perfect. Grab all of that stuff out of there. And we'll take it over to the tool forge and we will make what we need. So we want a sh starting with a pickaxe. That. One of them. And one of them. Hello? Uh, what happened there? It didn't place. We can't put a metal shaft on it. We can't put a wooden shaft on it. Why can we not put a shaft on this? Oh, I'm using the wrong shaft, that's why. There we go. I'm being a dum-dum. It's fine, it's fine, everything's good. Fairy Ears was having a Fairy Ears moment. Don't worry about it. There we go. So we got the shovel, we got the thingy, we want the hammer, which is two of them. Boop, boop. A hammerhead. It's not a subtle, not a subtle object, the hammer. It's not intended to be a subtle object. And then we got the excavator. Boop. Boop. Quite the expensive one, this one. There's a lot of raw iron goes into this bad boy. Boop. There we go. The tools. The tools of our trade. And the excavator. Let me show you the excavator in operation. I don't know if you've ever seen the excavator in operation. By Jingo's George and things. Wallop. That's why we wanted the excavator. So, I think from Furry Years World, where we've got now a source of smooth stone on the go, and that's doing a nice job for us, we've got a range of tools which we will utterly, utterly destroy nature with, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's our thing, it's our jam, it's how we roll. Uh, and we've got, like, a load of casts and stuff done. So, I think that's pretty pretty good going. So, I'm going to go with a tatar for now.